It was from a report compiled by the Venezuelan Intelligence Unit that Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley made this controversial statement. Demand for sex and prostitution in Trinidad and Tobago is being driven by a high rate of local consumption, especially in the borough of Chaguanas. Madam Speaker, that is representative and my colleagues in here, if you want to fight this matter, let us begin by fighting this. But the president of the chamber, Richie Sakai, says if law enforcement had collected data, they should act on it by arresting the culprits. And instead of pointing fingers, Sukai says both the opposition and the government should find a solution for migrant prostitution. Many times raids have been made before in the past in these establishments and they seem to pop up back once more. Again, no one is being held accountable and this is where the authorities need to step in. If you know who the big fish are, so say, name them, shame them and put them out in public. At least while he was leading the Central Division, retired senior superintendent Johnny Abraham said prostitution was never a major problem. When, when I was there on my watch, such activities like that, there was, but not, probably not the amount that they have. Enough. CNC3 News reached out to several non-governmental organizations who have been working with migrant prostitutes, but no one was willing to go on record to confirm whether the problem was more prevalent in the central Baru. Efforts were also made to contact the police commissioner on the issue. However, all calls went unanswered. Radical Silva, CNC3 News.